So welcome back everybody. A friend and I have got a project that we're about to embark upon. It's uh, we're going to build a bed frame for our houses and this pine tree behind me looks like a pretty good candidate for some material for those bed frames. I need a couple of, actually I need about eight four by fours that are nine feet long and uh, a true dimension four by fours. I'll probably cut them a little bit over to, to make it a little bit bigger so it'll be stable and so we can plane it down and sand it down to a true dimension four by four. But first, uh, I saw a little trick a friend turned me on to on the YouTube channel arborist underscore fi. And uh, I guess you could call it the stick trick or rake trick or whatever, but essentially it's you take a rake and try to determine where the tree is going to fall. So let's take a rake and I will show y'all how he does it and I'm going to attempt to do it and uh, uh, we'll just see what happens. I'm really curious to see if this trick actually works or if I can do it properly. So basically what you do is you take just a regular old rake like this one and you line it up with the tree. So what you'll do is, I guess we'll do it with this hand, take your left hand Put it in the middle or uh, arm's length on this rake and line your right hand up with your eye and then just let it fall and let it hit your helmet one good time and then you back off uh, line it up with a few feet up on the tree and then you back off until the top of the rake is even with the top of the tree. So this is where we ended up with our rake. What I'm going to do is put this bright orange uh, chalk block, or it's actually a leveling block for a camper. I'm going to put it right here. And of course, a lot of this depends on me accurately cutting down the tree. We'll see if the top of the tree ends up on top of this right here. Now, I'm going to give you all a link to the, prop of the, to the actual video because I didn't do a good job of explaining it, and there are a few more factors. But I think we got the basics down. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> There's the block and there's the tree. That's about one, two, three, four, maybe 12 feet or so off. Uh, like I said, I'll give y'all a link to the video where that guy explains it. I think he does a much better job than I did. And uh, yeah, y'all can check it out yourselves. And it, it seems to work for him. I think he's probably had more practice. Let's get this tree up onto the mill and make some timber out of it.
Guys, that's all I'm going to be able to do today. I've got to unload the truck. We're doing a little family trip tomorrow, and I need to pick up for that. But so far, we've done the bottom three sections of that tree, and those bottom three sections have yielded six 4x4s, ten 2x4s, and two boards that are just kind of random dimensions. The 2x4s are, uh, one of those is a true 2x4, and the rest of them are either 2x3.5, 2x3.25, uh, those kind of dimensions, but they can be used as 2x4s. So pretty excited about that that's 18 pieces of lumber total from those three sections there's three more sections to do but those are the three smallest sections so I don't really expect I'll get a whole lot out of those I think I'll be able to finish my four by fours and maybe get a handful of two befores but so far so good we're making good progress um, but we will resume this project tomorrow
can squeeze a 4x4 four four out of that, I'll be doing really good. Three and fifteen sixteenths, but that's fine. Four by four and three eighths. I tried to cut these oversized so we could plane them down and sand them because these are going to end up being finished uh, on, a, on a bed frame project. But yeah, let's uh, let's look at the numbers and see how this tree did. So guys, I'm overall pretty pleased with the way that that tree came out. This is, of course, not all of them because I had to unload the truck yesterday. But we ended up getting nine 4x4s, 13 uh, pieces of 2x stock, and two just kind of random dimension boards. And this was all nine feet, uh, nine feet long stuff. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I think that uh, this is going to serve us real well. Uh, like I said, we're going to build a, a bed out of this. A friend and I... I want to build uh, build beds for our houses and uh, um, I think this stuff is going to serve us well. I tried to cut these 4x4s over uh, wherever I could so that we could run them through the planer. Uh, in some places I was not able to do that but for the most part I was successful there by you know just a little bit over 4x4 just enough to get that finish on them and knock off the saw marks and stuff like that. But yeah I think we did pretty well on that tree. That's a total of I probably shouldn't do math on camera like this. That's what, 10, 22, 24 boards, 24 pieces of lumber out of that tree. Um, pretty pleased with that, quite honestly. That was not a really big tree. You can look at the uh, beginning of this video and you can see how big the small section on the base log was. There was a lot of tapered pieces, of course, and that resulted in a little bit of waste, but you know, I don't have tow boards on this mill, so I just kind of did the best that I could. Um, as far as the adjustments that we made in the video yesterday, I think that we're going to be okay. That thing did not, that bright upright uh, didn't fall off any of this time and I don't expect it to. Uh, it still, in some situations, is cutting a little bit off square, but I think I can adjust the head on the mill 
and fix that little problem. It's kind of it's kind of been just a hair off ever since I've ever since I've had it. Um, and I think if I adjust it a little bit, it'll be okay. Because there's there's ways you can adjust that. That's that's actually that's not a. It, I know it's got two posts on it, but it's actually what they call a semi cantilever. The right side of the head is not actually attached to the right upright. That upright just kind of serves to support the weight of the head and the weight of the engine and all that stuff. But it's not actually attached on that right side. It works great. Uh, it's a really good a really good design as far as I can tell. Um, but I am going to have to adjust it a little bit, I think. It hasn't shown any signs of uh, getting any farther off than it was when I first stuck it together. But um, if I make those adjustments, I think we'll be I think we'll be cutting really, really square on this thing. It doesn't matter that much because, of course, when we run these through the planer, the planer is going to straighten them out. So it's not a huge, huge deal. But that's all I've got, guys, for this video. Thank y'all for sticking around and watching. Uh, I will see y'all next time. Hope you enjoyed this video. And, yeah, that's it. I'll see y'all next time.